Well, I don't have to tell you, but it's a beautiful day here in Southern Terrebonne Parish. Fish today with one of my favorite guides in all of South Louisiana, Captain Travis Miller, down here in the Dularge Marsh, and it is perfect. It is perfect conditions, and the fishing is fantastic. Wintertime conditions here, very, very cold water today. Uh, we made an afternoon trip. Water temperature started about 55 degrees, and it's only now 56 degrees. Hasn't warmed up a whole lot, but that's kind of perfect for this time of year. Those fish start the mornings deep in the bayous, and as the day warms up, they move into those shallow flats where they'll bite baits under corks and tight line. Very, very good success today. Loaded a box, caught some throwbacks, definitely had some fish that didn't quite make the cut, but plenty enough to fill up a box. Man, you can't ask for better than this. We've seen maybe three, four boats fishing today and we've run all over. Everywhere we went, we caught fish. Didn't load the boat in any one spot, but we left fish feeding in certain spots just to go see where else we could catch them. Very good action here. Take a look at it and get on down here to do large as soon as you can. Look at that, slow takedown. That's how these fish have been kind of not super, super aggressive. It's also cold. That's going to be a, a little keeper trout. That's well, about the standard winter time. It's probably about close to 14 inches. But they're cold, man. They're a cold fish. Look, got some of those little leeches. They've been sitting on that bottom. They're just coming out of hibernation after that real cold one. Yeah. Yeah, all over. Which is funny is they're hitting a cork. But this is a flat. So we're in deep water right here, goes up. We're in probably about eight foot of water here, throwing into about two foot of water. Oh, a micro red foul hook. The trout just, boy, no wonder. Of course he foul hooked him. Did you see him set that hook? Oh yeah. Boy, that, that poor trout didn't, oop, missed him again. That poor fish didn't have a chance. There's another one. Yeah, we, uh, we decided to take an afternoon trip today because um, the water temperatures this morning was in the very low 50s, like 51, 52. So right now what we found is these fish, I'm sure this morning they were deeper, probably had to catch them on a tight line. And now that the sun's up, the water temperature's up to 55, they've, they've basically moved up onto the flats. And uh, although they're really cold, still they're they're actually getting to eat because they probably haven't eaten in a couple days because we had that real hard cold front so i'm sure this afternoon we'll catch plenty and then tomorrow will be real good um, with the temperature not getting below 55 tonight so. in previous years it's it's a, i would say probably a little slower i mean we're still catching some limits but they're not as fast as we're used to so that's that's the difference i mean we haven't had any you know, 8 a.m. limits. You might catch them by 10 or 11. So we're fishing a little longer, but it's not the end of the world if, for that. So it, all that means is that these fish aren't stacked up in, in any one spot. And today is really a good example. We pretty much moved around and we've caught fish everywhere we've gone. I mean, here we are. We just pulled up to this bank just at the end of the day to check and see if these fish are on the flat. This is only about a foot and a half, two foot of water. Here's another one. Now, one thing we've seen today, though, is that the shallower the water, the smaller the fish. So, something to keep in mind. I mean, it's not always like that, and that's one thing that's been different about this this winter is we've had some days where they're all 14 to 18 inches, and then some days you catch a bunch of those little guys mixed in with the 14 and 16 inch fish. Right. There we go. Good finish to a great day.